Okay, so how do we do a percentage yield equation? So first we have the equation on top. The percentage yield is the mass of product obtained divided by the maximum theoretical mass of product times 100. So this is what you get actually when you do the experiment. This is what you calculate what you will get. All right, so the number at the bottom is always bigger than the number on the top. Okay, unless you make a mistake when you measure the amount of product. So we first always calculate the theoretical maximum mass. So again, we have a context. Titanium can be extracted from titanium chloride by the following equation. So titanium chloride with two magnesium and titanium becomes two magnesium chloride. So you can see that magnesium is more reactive it was able to snatch away the chloride atoms on the ions. So, calculate the maximum radical yield of radical mass of titanium that can be extracted from 100 grams of titanium chloride. So we have here TiCl4 plus 2Mg becomes Ti plus 2MgCl2. So we now use our skills from our reacting masses. All right, so you have 100 grams of titanium chloride. So 100 grams right there. So again, we put here on the side. This is the mass that we have, okay? We now look for the relative formula mass, okay, or the molar mass. So for titanium, if we look for it, where is titanium? Okay. Over here. So the mass number is 48. So again, let's put it to the side. So 48 is the molar mass of titanium. And then chlorine is 35.5. For chlorine. All right. So you have titanium, also chlorine first, 35.5 times 4 plus 48. So 190, okay? So we can now calculate the moles, all right? And the moles will be the mass divided by the molar mass. So 100 divided by Okay, so this is the approximate number, 0 0.526. Now, the ratio here is 1 to 2, yes? Okay, is this what we want? Ah, but this is not what we want. You want to work out the amount of titanium which you can get. So 1 to 2 to 1 to 2. This time, you want this ratio, yes? 1 to 1, so this is times 1. So the amount of this to titanium, technically, is also just times 1. So we have already the molar mass of titanium. So all you have to do now is this is the amount of moles and you have the molar mass all right so moles times the molar mass will give you the mass so this number times 48 so you should end up with having 25.3 grams of titanium so this will be your answer to part a but now, for part B, in the end, only 20 grams of titanium were made, was made. So you now need the percentage yield. So the percentage yield, as you can see from the top, is this. The mass of product obtained divided by the ma maximum theoretical mass of product. You, you calculate it supposed to, supposedly 25.3 grams will be produced. But only 20 grams were made. So you do that calculation times 100 and you will get 
20 divided by okay times 100 to so get 79.1 percent percentage yield all right so of course the units will be percentage right and that's how you do it